Greetings, Solid Rock family. You're now tuning in to Solid Rock Entertainment. Today, I want to bring some good news from out of Jamaica. I know recently we've been facing a lot of terrible, horrible, bloody news. And I um, just want to give everyone a break from all the, uh, a little bit of the, the bad energy. And which is, you know, some of this stuff is reality that we do have to face. And we just have to try to make things better. But right now, I want to focus on some good news. Um, in recent times, very recent times, the first liver transplant ever in Jamaica has been done. And it has been done on a 13-month-old boy. And he's doing well. And it also has been performed on a 16-month-old girl. And she's doing well, too. And it's just some good news. It was uh, reported on a Channel 3 uh, Philadelphia news station, television news station. And um, so it's big all over, man. And I just wanted to share that with you guys and with the world, you know, that there's good things happening in Jamaica also. So one love, unity, keep everything solid, solid rock entertainment. So keep everything solid. And here's a clip of the news with the success of the operations. So check it out. And now on the Health Watch tonight, an international life-saving mission in Jamaica with a team of doctors from Delaware. As health reporter Stephanie Stahl tells us, this is a history-making mm -hmm. trip. Right? It really is history, guys. Now the team from Nemours DuPont Hospital performed the first ever transplants, liver transplants ever done in Jamaica. Two children there getting new organs from living donors. Relatives can donate part of a liver for a transplant. The second surgery is underway right now. The first was yesterday. So I'm confident in them. I know that they're specialists. I know that they're really experts and I know that they know what they're doing. In this video provided by Nemours, Tanya La Gordon said she had faith in God as a team of doctors from Bustamante Hospital for Children and Nemours AI DuPont Hospital prepared to perform a liver transplant on her 13-month-old son, Zayden, the island's first. Before now, Nemours flew Jamaican children to the U.S. for liver transplants. We kind of started a relationship with patients from Jamaica really about seven, eight years ago when we did our first uh, liver transplant on a baby from Jamaica. They were ready to make this next step. Dr. Stephen Dunn is chair of surgery at Nemours. Via Skype, he said his team, with assistance from Jamaican doctors, operated on Zayden for about eight hours. Because this child didn't have a bile duct, we had to do some intestinal surgery to create drainage for the bile from the new liver that would go into the intestine directly. Dr. Dunn said Zayden is doing well and that the Jamaican team has established post-surgery protocols and made sure anti-rejection drugs will be readily available. We're really happy for the child and for the parents uh, and we're all a little tired. <laughs> Now, Zayden's father was the donor giving part of his liver to his son. We are told the second transplant today on a 16-month-old little girl is going well. Her uncle was the donor for that one. Wonderful. Oh, that's great Excitement. News. The first liver transplants ever in Jamaica. It's amazing. Isn't that yeah. That's